the Supreme Court opened the gates of free financing. What do you do about that? Well, you need to read. I, I think politicians need to read the Supreme Court ruling. They all have an opinion on what it does and doesn't do. It doesn't open the gates if you follow the law. Here's what it does. It says that corruption is the greatest threat to democracy, to a representative government. Okay? They say that's why Congress and the President can regulate direct contributions. And there is a limit. In spite of Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich and John Huntsman and Rick Perry, the limit is $2,500. It's the law. They've gotten around that so many illegal ways. It's disgraceful. The Supreme Court said direct contributions can be limited. And you can require full disclosure. Now, Congress just hadn't stepped up and required that yet. Number two, they said, however, if it's an independent group, now the key word is independent, if it's a group of citizens who want to get together and raise a million dollars to support an issue or a person, that's legal as long as there's no connection, as long as they're independent. So let me take you to the super PACs. They're supposedly independent. Do you know that Mitt Romney gave a speech to the fundraiser for his own super PAC? Is that independent? That's, I can't use the word bullshit, but that, <laughs> that is bullshit. But what do you do? What do you do? Well, you, you, I can't tell you what we're going to do in the next few months, but there will be a challenge in court to the legality of all existing super PACs. They are illegal. And the money will have to be returned. Wow. We're talking about people working for a long time to pay off those debts. Couldn't happen to a better group. Uh, and it might require, it, now the vote was 5-4 by the Supreme Court, and I think I can get Congress to move with the powers that we have now constitutionally to seal up much of the work. I'd like to go further. Now, I don't have a finished plan left. But I would like to see uh, smaller donations be rewarded, rewarded, like Maine did, like Arizona did, uh, and I'm leaving another state out. We, uh, we had three states that did that very well, and the Citizens United ruling upset that in one way, that you couldn't distinguish $100 gifts from $2,000 gifts. So we might require a constitutional amendment to get this right, but we can go a long way without waiting on the Constitutional Amendment. I want you to believe me that way. We can go a long way in the six points that I outlined. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do it, and I can pass it. Somebody else.